sorry. Hello, wonderful world of media social. It is I. So I'm recording this and welcome back to my channel and in today's video. To this video. Wait, what? Welcome back to my to my profile. I don't know if I'm going to post this on Instagram to my friends or on YouTube, but maybe on YouTube because I want to show it to the to the public and how I edit even if they don't care. Yeah. So Today I will show you guys on how I highlight my MSP edits and uh, most of you guys have been asking, uh, wait, not most of you, not a lot of you, but some of you, very little of you, some of you um, ask, uh, ask me to do, uh, to ask me uh, to do um, uh, a highlighting tutorial and I'm sorry if I can't talk because I cannot English properly. So, okay, so to start off, I, I've already done this skin the skin shadow uh, so far if you want a tutorial on how I color my skin now versus my old one which is like which the tutorial is like eight months ago or something nine months ago eh. um, uh, I might do it if you guys want want <laughs> want some okay so what I uh, what uh, I've already done, like I said, I've already done the shadows of the of the base, and I've already done the lips, gorgeous lips, and yeah, and uh and I add a little bit more detail on the eyes and the lips for a little bit of color, and then I add blush, and then after that, I, now I uh, now I start with the um with the highlight. So what I want to do is make a new layer on top of your skin layer, on top of your blush layer, basically on top of everything. And then set the blending mode or layer mode to add. And uh, the reason why I use add is because it is very glowy, as you can see right there. And if you blend it out, it, it, it looks like light. <laughs> So yeah, this is why I use that and not just use like overlay or something. Yeah, so what I want to do is set the layer mode or blending mode to add. And what I usually use, uh, what I usually use is my water watercolor wet tool. And then I usually use either the light 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 blue color, which is which I saved, uh, which is this one, which is really light. Or I just use the pro, just basically a really light color like purple or just white or just really really light brown, light light brown, really light orange. But today um, huh? For this guy, and if you if you were wondering, this is for MSP Wars because um, if you follow me on Instagram, I fall uh, I won a contest from her, and then she gave me VIP. And then she also gave me some animations and clothes with which I'm really happy and grateful for. So this is for her because I asked her to yeah. So what I usually use is blue, so we're gonna use blue. <laughs> and yeah, like I said, using the watercolor wet tool. And then I usually make I usually start off with the cheeks. And what you wanna do with the cheeks is oh wait, before that I make the brush um kind of small kind of kind of the perfect wide the for the perfect width for the cheek highlight hmm. so uh the opacity on this is five percent it is really low but it's okay we can build up the opacity so we're gonna start off on the uh cheek and i usually do that but for this we're gonna do the big highlights what I mean, what I mean by big highlights is just basically make the highlights a little bit bigger than what you usually do. Okay, not like that. <laughs> like, like this. Now I usually put it down here a little, and then also on the chin. But I usually make the chin highlight a little bit smaller so that I can get that depth. Hmm. And then just a little bit on the forehead. And then the nose. Make the brush a little bit smaller and then the nose. And then I sometimes do the inner corners of the eyes. Just like that. And then on the eyelid too. 
sometimes on the bottom there sometimes and if you want you can add a highlight on the other side i find that it is a little bit unnatural because the light source is here and not here and then there's the shadow so yeah but whatever fit your style and also your current image lighting i must be added and then what I do is take the blending tool and then I usually use the blur soft tool because it, for me it blends much more better and then blend it out and blend the edges really really sleep seamlessly so that you won't get harsh lines and harsh and weird lines weird random lines same goes as all the other highlights and for the big big highlights like in the big area like the cheek the cheek the forehead uh, I, re I usually like really blend it out so that it, I won't see that um, that obvious <laughs> line and then for the chin uh, I do blend it out but not as much like I blend it out really really I really really blend it out and then what I do I blend the edges a little don't blend the middle so that you can concentrate the highlight the highlights in the middle Wait, so that you can concentrate the highlights in the middle and not the outside. That's what I usually do to make my edits look dynamic. And I can't believe you guys are asking me on how I highlight. I don't think that it looks that good. I mean, like, look at Ari Debella. Ari X Debella, I cannot. <laughs> Her name, my god. Okay, after you're done with that, um, just lower the opacity. And oh my god. Look how gorgeous that is. <laughs> Me. Okay, so uh, I don't want. I really want the blush to really pop. So I think I'm gonna put the highlight below the blush, eh. and make it kind of small. Eh, make it kind of small. Make the opacity kind of low, like thirty percent. Actually, set this layer of highlight like from twenty percent to fifty percent. I wouldn't go more than that so because if I go more than that more than that I would have to put more highlight which I really want to more highlight equals more detail so after you're done with that make a new layer and this time instead of uh, adding a layer below the blush I'm adding a layer on top of the blush and then for this I think I'm gonna go for the purple color I like colors and then I make the brush a little bit smaller than the actual and then the brush size for the for the cheek and then just put it in the middle so that it will so like I said so that the we will concentrate the highlight in the middle and then the surrounding blended <laughs> I cannot English legit I have it English in a long time so I'm sorry if you if you guys are like I don't know offended by my language by my by my, by my <laughs> yeah, this is my line. Okay. Just re-adding the place. And uh, and instead of making a really noticeable line, like, like we did on the first highlight layer, uh, I'm going to do a, just like two dots like that so that we have more detail and depth. I have no idea. I just do what I do. And then I put some highlight, make the brush really thin and small, and then put highlights uh, at the nose wings, like that. And also I sometimes put down here at the nostrils, you thingy, and then also the cupid's bow. Of course, we cannot forget this. This is really important so that we can make the lips pop. And then, yeah, just intensifying some areas. Really, this layer is about really just really making it glow. I sometimes put here, sometimes I don't. Don't ask why. <sighs> okay, so yeah. And then after that, I just blend it out. And for this, like, uh, don't blend, don't blend too much. Just blend the edges and don't blend the middle so that you will get intense highlight. <laughs> And uh, if you're wondering what the sound is, it's my pen. And if you're wondering, I usually just tap 
on the, sur the, 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 the part that I want to blend by using the blur tool so because what I because it makes my program less laggy and also blends better I don't know why just just stick with it just do whatever you think is good and helpful and good <laughs> and then just blend like I said just blend the edges don't blend the entire thing or or it, you will lose that 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 glow, that sheen, that 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 power. Yeah. Just blending. This part I need to really blend. And then lower the opacity. And now you got a good glow. You can make the the first highlight layer a little bit more noticeable. AKA more opaque. Yeah, I think that looks much more better. And then the last layer of highlight. I'm like, you can go more than that, but you know. Uh, for this, we want to do more detail. But this time, we're going to use the fluffy watercolor. This, uh, I usually use this to make textures of the highlight. Like that. See, it, it looks like the, the cloud brush. It makes like a really fluffy cloud brush thingy, brush symbol, brush shape. Mm, yeah. So I usually, I really, uh, wait, wait. I usually put this on the eyelid because I saw someone, uh, someone did like highlights with shape on their eyelids, and I thought it looked really beautiful. So yeah, and the shape thought of, and the shape made me thought of. Wait, oh my god. And the shape made me, make me, oh my god, you know what, never mind. The highlight shape reminded me with, reminded me this brush, finally. Because it has that, gotta get that glow, yeah. It has that something. <laughs> Just blend it a little. Don't blend too much because we really want to see the the, 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 the the shape. Just blend a little. Just like that. Okay, so now I just lower the opacity. And look at that. Oof, that looks beautiful. Kind of. And if you think your highlight, and if you think your highlight looks out of place, then just, then just select it and then move it. <laughs> Don't be ashamed of yourself. Everybody makes mistakes. Okay, after you're done with that, make a new layer on top of everything. And this step is optional, but if you want a little bit more glow and magic, uh, Make a new layer, set the layer mode or blending mode to add, and also use the splatter brush. The splatter brush is basically just splattering. And uh, I use this to really, to make my highlight look glittery. Like that. Yeah, but I usually put it on the cheek and, and the forehead and the chin. I don't usually put it on the eyelid and then in the corners and the nose because I thought it would look out of place. And after you're done with that, just lower the opacity. Boom! He looks magic, glowy. And then this character has freckles, so I added a layer of. I used this splatter brush. And then just drew all over to get this thing and then set the layer mode to overlay and then make it really make the opacity really low like 10 to 15 percent 15 20 sorry like that and then yeah to make that freckle look 
natural quote unquote natural just make another layer and then do the same thing is but use multiply and make the layer passive really low and then the last freckle which is the the the, the on the the nose one and then just a little bit of texture and then highlight and then yeah so i i really really do hope you think that this video is helpful because i don't think i'm gonna make another um helpful quote unquote helpful tutorial again because it stresses me out <laughs> I'm like, okay, I might do it if you guys ask me to, but still, yeah. Okay, so, um, yeah. I really do hope you you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'll link my how to color skin. Uh, how to color, how to color skin tutorial in my description box below. So that you, you have the basic knowledge of coloring skin. I'm sorry if I went too fast, you can always just reverse the video or just slow down the video and just do step by step, pause pause the video while you're doing it because um, I do it really, not fast, but I do it really, what do I say? I just do it. <laughs> I just do it like that. I don't do it, yeah. So, because I already know what, I already know what I want to do. So yeah, okay, I really do hope you think you thought that this tutorial was really helpful. I'm so sorry if it's not helpful. I really tried my best. And uh, I will see you guys on the next, uh, on the, in the next video. I really do hope so. <laughs> Goodbye. See you in the next video. Okay, bye. I cannot English. Bye.